Hello guys, this is from Mrs. Abby. Today I'm going to be bringing you plant haul number two. And I've been shopping for house plants to decorate my home for the fall. So this is a Christmas house plant collection of this plant here. And this plant here is called the Norfolk Island Pine. It comes in a variety of sizes and it's more like a tree than it is a plant because it grows very large. And I bought three, two of the same size and I bought them from Lowe's. And the smaller size I paid five dollars and 98 cents for that small one there and I paid five dollars and 98 cents for that particular small one there there is a medium sized one that I bought and I paid ten dollars for it nine dollars and 98 cents they are beautiful plants and they can be used just like a live Christmas tree. You can use them for that. As you notice, they are already uh, decorated with some ornaments. Even the small one was bought with a few small ornaments on them. And I'm going to place some more ornaments on these trees right here. The Norfolk Island Pine. So you want to keep this plant or tree beautiful through the Christmas season. Then you need to know how to care for it during this period. So I'm going to give you a few tips as to how I'm going to care for this plant and keep it beautiful all the way to the end of the year. And then I'm going to come back at the end of the year or probably the first of the year and I'm going to do another video and show you or tell you how you can keep this plant beautiful year round and it'll be uh, available for next Christmas in order for you to decorate your home with. Uh, one of the tips I want to give you about the Norfolk Island Pine is that it, do, it does not like cold temperature. If your temperature is below 50 degrees in your home, then this plant will not thrive. You want to keep the temperature in the home above 50 degrees for this particular plant. Also, this plant enjoys bright light home. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to place it in my living room because in my living room, I have this large window and it gets lots of light. But you do not want to place it in direct sunlight. You do not need to fertilize this plant during the month of, during the winter months. Just wait until it gets to be spring or summer to fertilize this particular plant, a particular tree. Now, one of the things that helps this plant to thrive is high humidity. If you're living in a home that has low humidity, then this plant will not thrive so to help out with the humidity in your home, there's two things you can do. And you probably already know these things here. One of the things you can do is you can take a spray bottle, place some water in it, 
and just missed the plant. Just missed it. Just spray all of it. But if you're going to be decor, if you're going to decorate this plant, then you might not want to miss this plant. You might want to use another alternative to uh, missing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tray and notice there's a tray right here. And this tray is filled with uh, these little uh, stones that I bought from Dollar Tree. But it's best to use rocks or either pebbles. I just don't have any right now. So I'm just showing you this is not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use pebbles. I'm going to buy some uh, on tomorrow. And then place it in a tray and then you take some water and there's water already in it. And you do not want to um, place it. Uh, the water do not need to come above the pebbles. And then you want to take the plant. And you want to take this decorative wrapper off the plant. And you want to place it, the pot, on the pebbles and that's going to help out with the low humidity in your home and you want to keep it there several hours during the day and then you can remove it and you want to do this every day or you can just leave them there as long as the, it's not sitting in the direct water it's sitting on the pebbles with the water the plant should do well and as far as watering this plant, you want to water it when the soil feels dry or when this plant seems to be a little light weight and you can just pick it up to tell uh, whether it's light or not. Or you want to place your fingers down into the soil and you want to test it and right now, um, my soil is fine. It's not dry, so I, it does not need to be watered. So you don't want to place too much water on this plant because you do not want it to be soggy, but a little moist. Well, basically, that's the simple tips as to how to take care of the Norfolk Island Pine up until Christmas time to keep it beautiful and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that these tips help you keep your particular house plant this particular house plant beautiful throughout the holiday season so if you would would you please subscribe to my channel comment and share this video and remember that God is good all the time. See you in the next video. Bye.